is Gavin Hawk, and I'm going to ask you guys a question that I want you to think about to yourself while I talk. Why do you go to chapel? Is it because you need to, or is it because you really want to, or just maybe both? <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be addressing my position on the 30 chapel, chapel credit requirement at Lipscomb. <clears throat> In my opinion, a mandatory of 30 chapel credits is too much per semester. At most, it should be 20. And I'm guessing I would have to try to persuade most of the students to agree with me on this, but I'm going to name some reasons as to why I think it's considerably high. <clears throat> my primary reason is that if, in fact, the goal of chapel is to deliver the gospel of Jesus Christ, then it turns the decision to... Uh, worship out of love into a chore done only to avoid financial punishment. Now, I'm not saying chapel is a bad thing. I think it is a great thing. But I am posing the question as to why make something about beautiful grace into a tedious requirement. I do realize that Lipscomb is a Christian university, and and I know that they want to share Jesus with people, but each of us has to come to Jesus on our own, and no amount of chapel credits is going to do that for us. For me, I feel like chapel slowly becomes a burden on top of other things I have to do or finish, instead of something I want to do. <clears throat> It's not because of what chapel represents, but because of the mandatory attendance. Uh, the only way a relationship is successful is if you choose to spend quality time with a person and communicate with them yourself. And it's the same way with God. Having a relationship with God only pursued to avoid fines or get a credit will, will never work. <clears throat> Also, another reason for having not having 30 chapel credits is because I just think too many people don't want to go to chapel. And there's no benefit to people by using chapel as a cover to force God on people who aren't interested in God. Um, making people feel like they're Christians by attending chapel twice a week isn't how a relationship with God should be. But... Not having chapel at all probably isn't likely because this is a Christian university. So I guess the solution to that is to change schools. Not that I want you to, but uh, so what I'm trying to say is that Lipscomb is a Christian university, but not everybody here is here because they're Christians. I understand the value of chapel, but I think making a 30 credit requirement hinders the crux at which chapel tries to get across. If it were lowered to 20 or 15, I think it would relieve students of the stress of getting chapel credits. And at the same time, it would be sharing the message of Christ still. So by lessening this burden, I think students would have more of a chance or free up time to pursue truth and a personal relationship with God for ourselves instead of just a mandatory one that God doesn't want.